Kelly from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Friday, July 12th. Okay, so we have moon in Libra all day. What do we learn when the moon is in Libra? Well, we learn to find peace and harmony and balance within ourselves, within our personal relationships, within our inner realm between our heart and head mostly. And of course, with the moon in Libra and energy, the whole goal is peace, harmony and balance. But in order to actually get there, we have to live in extremes. We have to be illuminated to the parts of us that need peace, that need balance, that need harmony. Does that feel good? Absolutely not. Is it supposed to? 100% no. Also keep in the back of your mind that we're building towards the first quarter moon that will be popping off at a 22 divinely scripted number degree here in the Libra and energy on Saturday. So there is an intensity building to that action point, to that pivot point, to that choice point. And we have to be illuminated of all of the things that aren't working in order to figure out what we could do to make things work. Again, finding peace and harmony and balance in all that we do. So there are seven different aspects taking place here today, a relatively quiet day in the cosmos, especially coming out of the day that we had yesterday with all of those fluctuations and energy shifts. Six of those aspects are going to involve the moon. Okay, so the moon in Libra going to trine Pluto, who was retrograde in Aquarius energy. Pluto is the great transformer himself, retrograde in this Aquarius energy. We're being illuminated in our inner realm to where the divide is, where the power struggle is between the old version of self, the new version of self, between the ego self, the higher self, between the old realm and reality versus the new goal, vision, dream that we're currently trying to manifest, that Aquarius energy has us acting as the observer, especially as we do a deep dive in the psyche to really unearth where a lot of these tainted toxic seeds got planted. And of course, in true Aquarius fashion, we're looking to break free, liberate ourselves from some of these darker parts. The moon and Pluto, they're trining. This is a beautiful interaction. Why? Because we're dealing with like elements. We have Libra and energy and air sign, Aquarius energy and air sign. So this means that we are intellectually dissecting and analyzing how it is that we're currently feeling, realizing where it is that we need to boss up, where it is that we have to do better, where it is that we have to grow, evolve and improve. That is definitely pushing us into realizing where it is that we have to have more power and control over our inner narrative, over our emotions. The moon in Libra, then going to make a positive interaction with the sun, still in Cancer energy. Anytime that the sun and the moon are coming together in any kind of interaction, there's going to be a light bulb moment, an aha moment, an epiphany. Something's going to pop off, especially when it comes to what we want, what we need, what we desire, where it is that we are feeling out of whack, where there is chaos, where there isn't peace, isn't harmony, isn't balance. And from that, again, the sun shining a very bright light in this cancer energy is about the foundation and structure of our current realm, of our current reality, of our emotional realm, and where it is that the flip flopping, the back and forth, the up and down has got to give and where it is that we have to find a new common middle ground, a peaceful point of compromise, of balance, of harmony. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money. She rules over the Libra energy that the moon is in. She is fresh in this Leo energy. We just shifted into this Leo energy here yesterday on the 11th. If you haven't listened to that Astro Forecast, I'm going to recommend you do so. If you want to know where this is taking place in your life, listen to your July Zodiac Forecast. And of course, bust out your Cancer Season e-guide to really capture the change of heart that we are all currently going through. Venus is going to be sitting across from directly opposing Pluto. Okay, so the Leo energy that Venus is in, the Aquarius energy that Pluto is in, they sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. So there's going to be an intensity here. It is going to unearth a lot of fear, a lot of doubt, a lot of insecurities. There's going to be an illumination on where it is that you're afraid to let go of the old, the old version of self, the old realm, the old reality, the old dream, the old goal, the old vision, whatever the case may be. Maybe it's a person who knows you're afraid to let go of something. 
You're afraid to let go of this something because you do not trust the universe or trust the self in order to create something better in the place of the things that are currently needing to be removed. There's going to be a lot of fear, doubts, and insecurities pop up, exposing the vulnerabilities that you currently have within you, where it is that you're overly attached to this particular topic, theme, want, need, desire, person, place, thing. There's going to be an illumination on why it is that you're afraid to let go, why it is that you're afraid to pivot, why it is that you're afraid to actually move on. Now, is this going to feel good? 100% no. Is it supposed to? Absolutely not. This is a heart activation. If you wanna to listen to this week's Ascension forecast, understand what the heart activations are all about, understand why they're happening, please go ahead, take a little bit of a refresher, a review by listening to that particular episode. Just know we have to feel it in order to heal it. The moon is then going to make an interaction, an awkward one with Mars. Mars, of course, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desires, even our anger. In Taurus energy. Now, what do Taurus energy and Libra energy have in common? That's right. Venus rules both of them. Mars in this Taurus energy is a slow burn. We aren't seeing the options, the opportunities to make some progress, to grow, to evolve, to actually move on in our physical realms as of right now, because we have to build and cultivate the right amount of motivation, determination, inspiration, excitement, whatever fuel you're using, maybe it's anger and frustration, that works too, but we have to build the right kind of mood, the right kind of attitude within us first and foremost, before any actions can take place. This is why there's a lot of frustration. There's why a lot of agitation in our ability to actually move forward at this particular point in time. Now, the moon interacting with Mars definitely going to ruffle some feathers, definitely going to put us in a situation to feel the frustration, to feel that agitation, to feel that anger just kind of bubbling up. Maybe it's not anger, maybe it's irritation, maybe we're sick of ourselves, maybe we're sick of the circumstance, whatever the case may be, there is no peace in this particular interaction, there is no harmony in this particular interaction, there is no balance. We are teetering on the side of absolute ants in our pants. Here's where things get interesting. The moon in this Libra energy going to come up to bump into team up with conjunct the south node in Libra and energy, which means that we're sitting across directly opposing the north node in Aries energy. So again, just a reminder, the north node in Aries energy is what we're trying to do, what we're trying to accomplish, the new path, the new, let's call it solo quest, the new adventure to this next stage of our soul's potential, our soul's next mission. That's the North Node in Aries. The South Node is where we're coming from. We've already mastered these particular topics and themes, and that's where the Libra energy is concerned, and that's where the codependent relationships are being highlighted, being spotlighted at this time. We have to break away from intertwining, from attaching, from being too connected to the people, to the world around us in order for us to get to know thyself. We have to go on this individual quest within ourselves and out in the physical realm to see who it is that we actually are, what it is that we're actually made of without the influence tainting our perception of self coming from other people. So the moon, although in direct opposition to the North Node, the path that we need to get on, we're resisting the changes, we're resisting the opportunity for growth and evolvement at this particular point in time, because sitting on top of the South Node in Libra, means that we are falling backwards to our default programming. What is that, you may ask? People-pleasing. We're falling back on the people-pleasing. We're falling back on giving too much power to other people, too concerned with what they're going to think of us, too concerned with how we may be perceived or judged or criticized by the people, by the world around us for doing our own damn thing. Now, please resist falling back to old patterns and behaviors, especially where emotions and mental plane activities are concerned. Also, 
please do not go back to the person that you just fought so freaking hard to get away from. This is a particular energy where we could definitely lose our strength for just a sweet Jesus second. Go back to the people that we fought so hard to actually close the door upon open up that can of worms and create a dramatic situation for ourselves. Resist that at all costs. We're not going to sit in that energy for too long. The moon in Libra then going to try beautiful interaction with Jupiter, the planet of growth, expansion, beliefs, abundance, and blessings in Gemini energy. So again, a trine is like-minded elements. We have air on air action here. So there's going to be a shift in our mental plane, a shift in our perspective, a shift in our understanding, in our inner dialogue, in our narrative, and a shift onto the choices, the options that we currently have to move on, to move forward. Sometimes we need to look all the way back to see how far it is that we've actually come in order to pivot real quick before we take a step backwards and then look ahead, see what it is that we now have the option, the opportunity to do, to pursue. Jupiter brings back all the good feels. We're confident, we're optimistic, we're seeing the dream, if you will. We're seeing the dream a little bit clearly. We're seeing the vision a little bit more clearly as well. Now we're starting to plan, now we're starting to strategize on how we're going to move on. The last thing that we have going on here today, the moon in Libra making a very awkward interaction with Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. So again, Libra, Taurus energy, they're both ruled over by Venus. Venus is struggling right now in the heart and the soul of the Zodiac. She wants to move on, but she's got a tight grip on the past. This Uranian energy sends a shockwave of a new level of awareness, a new perspective, a light bulb moment, an epiphany, a true aha moment that's going to change the game because once you know, you can't unknow. This particular interaction, although may not give us the kind of clarity, the kind of answers that we're hoping for, is going to illuminate where it is that we're making a bigger deal out of certain situations than there actually needs to be. Maybe we are overinflating, over-exaggerating our options, our opportunities, our emotions, our mental plane. Maybe we're the ones making things more confusing than they need to be. Maybe we're the ones that are still a little bit closed off, a little bit closed-minded, and therefore not seeing the option waving the green flag right in front of us as of right now. Either way, we are going to be illuminated on where it is that we're refusing to look at the green light. We're stuck on the red, we're stuck on the yellow. Again, we're pivoting. We're trying really hard not to get sucked back in the past. However, our attention, our focus is very much there. We have to work very hard to at least bring it back to the present moment, if anything. So this particular jolt to the system, definitely going to create some anxiety, definitely going to put us in a situation where we create more confusion than there needs to be. But again, the confusion takes place just before the clarity comes.